but you see what that fish did it ate and it tried to swim out so they'll get you dude like they will swim like your line will be in the mat and if you don't detect that bite quickly you can have a big bow in your line from where your line goes into the grass mat to where the fish is trying to get to with, you, with your bait You can tell it kind of got a little thicker right there. So, your weight is your weight, like what, what you choose for your weight size, is that all based on just being able to get through the mat? That's or, it. Or it. Size of bait, ready to fall, but that's controlled by the thickness of your mat. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, I could flip an ounce and a half and a one ounce in two different mats and they'll fall the same. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Little point. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I'll pick this. I'm going to try to flip in, in the backs a little bit here in a minute. Hey, so answer that question. Yeah. Sometimes I have to flip a certain way to get penetration. I don't normally, I don't normally plop my weight into a mat. I'm more of a quiet entry guy i like my see i look I, I just caught myself doing it again i was i was up real high when my bait was in the mat got to focus but i i don't like to plop my my bait into a mat i've seen sometimes where that'll actually trigger a strike because it gets a fish's attention um i'll just up the weight my weight to where i can get through the mat efficiently before i'll plop it into the into the mat but with that being said, there'd be a time where you might have an ounce and a half on and still can't get through, but it's juice, it's perfect, it's isolated, it's real thick, and you need to get through, so you have to throw it up and kind of let it hammer through, punching. That's, that, was, that was how punching started, was punching through the surface and, and really trying to get your bait in there where you know where the bait has been. So talking about how punching is a visual deal for these fish, when you have grass, you need you need decent water clarity. And chances are, if you have grass, you're gonna have clean water because wa grass filters out dirty water and makes it really clean. You really want your visibility, you know, as clean as possible. If you have a group of fish in a mat and you know it rains overnight and it's rolling milk, chocolate milk through the mat, it's it's not preferred. I'll opt away from punching if, if that happens, but um, you really want good water clarity under a mat. The better, the clearer the water, you know, again, I'll, I'll, I'll contrast my colors. I'll opt away from the black and blues, go to green pumpkins, a little more natural color bait when the water's really pretty, when the water's a little tonic, a little stained, I'll go straight to black and blue. Keep it really simple. It's all about contrast with bass. They need to be able to see the bait to eat it and you want, you want per Let's go, baby! Boom, punching, 101 with Caleb Sermer on Bash UTV. Get you some of that, baby. I told you, boys. Come on, man, we gotta get fired up. <laughs> Donkey. Huh? 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 If that ain't a damn highlight. Oh, did you hear that braid? Yeah. <laughs> what was I talking about? Water clarity. So yeah, man, that, that was the perfect case scenario. That fish was in that mat two to three foot back, right where the canopy started flipped into a dark hole and I, did, I, I dropped it in there and I just felt her just boom, ate it. That braid singing in that mat is what I live for. That, whoo, like I said, man, it's you, the heaviest rod you got, the hardest, the strongest line you got, the strongest reel you got. Got this Bruin Outdoors reel, it's Kistler rod, and you yank them out of there, bro. It's no, there's no drag slipping, there's no play in them. You get them in the boat and you boat flip them. Get your arm broke.
And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.